guys want yeah. me to jump in on the video anytime? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heart wheels, everything. I do backflips, I'll wear a man thong, whatever you need. You had us a thong. <laughs> What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I'm Brando. And I'm Clint. And this is Brewhead. You're damn right. And today we are at Little House Brewing in Chester, Connecticut. We are having a good old time. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Don't know how these videos are come on, coming out, but, man, the, the, I just, the spooky. I got a trivia question. Let me get the mic on this. All right. One. Just don't drop it. How many space heaters would it take to heat the world? <laughs> Inside joke. I just want to get it out there. <laughs> The answer is seven. <laughs> Always seven. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to have Hornet's Honey. Imperial Horny Kolsch. Col it's honey. Honey, honey. honey. not horny. <laughs> Am I? Wow. Honey, sorry. Imperial Honey Kolsch. I don't know. 9% horsepower. All right, so this is Hornet's Honey. Imperial Honey Kolsch. Uh, nine percent horsepower, 30, 34 torque. Nice. Uh, the SRM is five five point five. All right, so this is a a scale up gone wrong gone wrong years ago. Yep. Sam's wonderful sleepy bee was twisted into this behemoth of uh, uh, behemoth by Carlisle's Carlisle's Carlisle. Yeah, Carlisle's back. Back in the pool house brewing days. Uh, heaps of honey aroma hid both the stings of the booze and the dry finish of the heavy hitter, uh, creating an almost mead like experience. Uh, it's a scarily easy drinker, but luckily the hornets are all asleep for the winter now. Recommended listening, Eric the Half Half a B by Monty Python. Fair enough. That's fair. Oh, well, it's a little dirty. A little, a little hazy. Uh, hazy. hazy. Yeah, slight haze. There's a little haze in that gold. But it's a, like it's an color. ember hue. Yeah. A, you, you know, you always expect good things with this color. Yeah. Yeah. There's not many colors out there I don't expect good things from in a beer. <laughs> That's true. This is one. Yeah, there has know. been some dark floaties. Yeah. Floaties <laughs> all in it at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Slide down your glass. We don't talk about that. <laughs> all right. All right, smell. Ooh, malty. Yeah. It does have a malt a background. Heavy malt. Real heavy malt. No, not it's, real spice. Is it just like, like, is it a floral? Like a back tone to the, the malt. Almost just, I think it's the honey. It might be. I think it might Me be the like, honey. Yeah, maybe you're right. Because it's very malty, but not like a spicy malty. Just like a malt, but it's got like a almost like a honey I feel, essence in it. I feel like the, there is an equivalent smell or aroma in there with the malt that is like woven together in the malt. I'm just surprised. Wow, he used equivalent. Equivalent, big woven. words, woven. Wow. The uh, <laughs> in this beer's got me on that smart shit. All right, let's give it a. But yes, right. there is some interwoven smell that I'm having but trouble it, picking it's out. Like, it's smooth. Yeah, with the malt like it's, yeah, it, real it smooth. It almost tastes. It almost tastes. It almost <laughs> smells like its own type of malt. Like that's how yeah. even it is. Yeah. Let's sip it. Ooh, is that sweet? That's real sweet. That's Ooh, is that sweet. sweet? Dude, there's something similar about this. To the first one. Yeah, it's, it's the honey. Cough drop? Cough drop? What? I got like a cough drop kind of flavor. Like a good cough drop. Can you imagine if you were like a kid a and your Hall's mom gave honey? you this? Like a Hall's, like like a Hall's oh, honey? There it is. There it is. <laughs> I'm thinking. You never had Hall's honey? No, I have. I'm just more in tune onto the if my mom gave me this when I was sick. This would have oh, been much better. Yeah, this would have been much better. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <clears throat> this is yeah, good. Yeah, but it's got, yeah, it's a uh, nice malt flavor. Real honey. I mean, just like the first one that we had, the um, Axle Crusher. Mm. Very sweet with the honey taste. The honey is almost predominant. Yeah. It's like you get malt, but then 
as soon as you taste the malt, you get the honey. Yeah, the honey flavor. is here. Yeah. I feel yeah. like the aroma and the taste are a little flip flop. Yes. Because I get more yeah. of a malty malt smell. forward Small, in the uh, yeah. aroma. You get more of a honey. Yeah. I mean, I get it more is of a so malt sweet. Like and the fact that this is 9%, this is super dangerous. Yeah. Dude, everything so far, man. Everything. And as, as we've seen, you. There is, I mean, because there is no. There, this does not taste. This tastes like it was five and a half. Like, it doesn't yeah. taste like a nine. Yeah. The way it's so smooth. It doesn't even taste like five I, and a half. It's I, so smooth. I mean, I've had a couple other close beers, and yeah, they're usually maltier, but I've never had one, you know, at a 9% that's this smooth. There's usually a, some kind of a bite to it if it's at that high of ABV. Oh, yeah. There's no ABV. Like, no bite to this ABV. This is... <sighs> yeah, this is... It's just so sweet. Good sweet, not like that teeth hurt sweet. Like this yeah. is like mouth pleasing sweet. So, where are we at? Where so are we at I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rate this. Yeah, yeah rating. All right. I'm gonna go with a four two five on this. Everything here has been an ab above the four range. Creativity coming out of here. The Jesus guys, awesome job. Um, what did I say? Four seven five, four two five, four two five, four two five, five point five. <laughs> Four two five. This is an awesome, awesome beer. Nice malt background. That honey is amazing. Um, I can't wait to keep coming back. I hope Clinton gets his uh, crowler of whatever he wants. What do you got, Mike? I have a four two five also, and I yes, I said four two five. I don't want to hear no shit. I, I said four two five. You did. Okay. All right. So yeah, I mean the the malt flavor is good. The the way they were able to make the honey so predominant in this beer is just amazing because honey is way too, I don't know how much honey they put in this thing, but damn, I mean, to get the honey to pop like that, I mean, because the honey popping. So, um, yeah, 425, uh, great beer, and it's way too smooth to be 9%. Way too sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's, so, it's good, though. so dangerous. This is like one of the most dangerous beers we've probably had. Yeah. I think this is probably more dangerous than than the um, Axle Crusher. Yeah. Yeah, I could go with that. I'd say it's more dangerous than the Axle Crusher, but nowhere near as dangerous as the Spooky Mirror. Yeah, I think this, this is, is more nine. dangerous. Yeah. What? This, this is nine. nine. Spooky Mirror was 8.3. Yeah, but I... Uh, when you get an Axle Crusher, I would... I wouldn't stop. I, I don't think I could. I, I, I don't stop with this. That would be a problem. I don't think I could stop with this spooky mirror. I don't think I could. You'd pass out before you kept. Yeah. Before yeah, you said this, that. I'd be like, all right. I can't, uh, <laughs> the air was. I'm like, no, it's so good. You know, that's where I'm at with that one. Did What's I your give that rating? Give that rating, baby. I'm gonna actually mirror these guys. I'm gonna go four, two, five. It's absolutely a phenomenal. I. I don't. I don't. I don't I feel like the last time we came, there was one I was a little like, yes. wishy washy. Yeah, it was, it was the one that was. Um, Poolside something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was the poolside. It's just, yeah. but Dockside, there was, dockside. There was so, a lot yeah. of it, and there was a lot of it that just wasn't fit. It wasn't my your type. Yeah, it, yeah. Wasn't, it wasn't your type of beer. Um, but other than that, like, you know, I've, we've now had several different styles of beers, which is what I love about this place, that they have a lot of different styles of beers. Yeah. Um, but. Had a lot of different styles of beers where all of them have been above, above 4.0. I mean, you can't argue with those kind of results. Yeah. You no, can't. They do good stuff here. Damn. So uh, that's our thoughts on Little House's Honey Hornet. Hornets Honey. <clears throat> so uh, you need to make your way down to Chester, Connecticut and uh, Try this brewery out. If yeah. you live in the Connecticut area, there is no excuse to not come here. Hour for everywhere, baby. Yeah. Hour from everywhere. You, you gotta you gotta come here and uh, check it out. And uh, make sure you check us out on all our social media. And as always, drink responsibly, stay wobbly, get your ass down to Little House. Catch you on the next one.